Hi guys, this is Bestoy and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. What we're going to cover today is the dorms located on Customs. Now there's two buildings, the three story and the two story dorms. Most of the good loot rooms require keys and these keys can be found in uh, filing cabinets and also in scab backpacks. So particularly if you're starting out in the game you want to be focusing on trying to get these keys as soon as possible as they'll be able to increase your profitable runs tenfold. Now generally when I go into a run I'll uh, not over gear when I'm going for loot. So a good example is I'll take an AKN, Packer and Kiva, and then a Black Rock. And I always recommend taking a Trizip if you're going in for loot runs, as they're not too expensive, about 22,000 rubles. And the potential is uh, you, you can lose a 22,000 ruble backpack four times, but if you fill it, you'll make hundreds of thousands. So it covers itself every time. Alright, so as you rock up to the dorms, you want to go straight to the third floor. The highest priority room in the dorms is the marked room. Marked room is located in room 318 at the very end of the hallway. You could do this as a hatchet art or a um, forward gear as well. But effectively, in here, you can spawn any guns, can have uh, key, key bars, all the good loot, as well as uh, pistols and that spawn here. As you can see, there's a bit of money in the corner. From there, uh, head down to room 303, particularly if you're a hatcheter, also requires keys. And you can get the AK spawn right here on the, on the table. It's also a green crate. From there, head down, you want room 214, also requires a key. Inside 214 there's a safe. As well as onto the desk, uh, you, there's a mug, and inside the mug can have a, the 203 key, which is required for a quest. Cool. Inside the mug there. After 214, sorry, you go 218. Inside 218, there's a weapon spawn. As you can see, the AK right there. Weapon spawns generally have ammo in them. So if you are doing a hatchet run, you have the opportunity to uh, fight back. Next room we're going to tackle on is 204. Most people don't realise this, but with the, um, in one of the more recent patches, the bottom of the weapon safe can have a gun, but the top is actually a safe. Try and move as quickly as possible to prevent... Uh, getting caught out by people who are a bit slower and they're more fully geared. Now you want to come in here and you want to check for a uh, factory key on the table. From there, head straight across to the two-story dorms. Next key requires a G-Desk key. Uh, so you've got your weapons crates, uh, ammo crates, and you also got a weapon spawn there. Head straight down the hallway. Next room is 110. 110 has a safe in it. As well as 114. 114 has a, uh, a safe, a PC, and a med bag in it. So there's your uh, med bag. PC and safe. A good idea if you find one early. Uh, a docks container or a, a wallet can also hold your cash in there, so it takes up less space. Oop. Lastly, the last main room of interest. Room 105. Has a safe. So I've heard 104 has a safe in it too, but f from all my research online, uh, currently all I've found is it's got a toolbox and a couple of uh, jackets. 
So what I'll go on with now is uh, I'll show you some good places also inside the dorms that you can get a uh, get to filing cabinets, so you can help farm those keys. And uh, the more keys you get, you slowly can you can build your key collection and come into raids and start farming those locations. Missed something in the past. One oh eight filing cabinet. I think we've got seventeen. Filing cabinet, no key. Second floor, 201. That's two sacks. 204, filing cabinet. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching another video. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much also to the little people in the community that have been getting behind me. It's been, it means a lot to me. Uh, and finally, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I've got more videos coming out for the rest of the week. So I'll see you next time.